Hey everyone, it's Tammy. Welcome back to the Makeup Revolution YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys swatches and also a tutorial using the brand new Flawless Foils from Makeup Revolution. So these are like a re-release. They used to have these back in the days, but then I don't think it was very popular back then to have such bright reflective, you know, eyeshadow. It was ahead of its time, so they decided to discontinue it and it was actually one of my favourite products from Makeup Revolution because it was just so different and I absolutely love the pigmentation the reflection that these flawless foils give they used to be called awesome metals but now they are called flawless foils so if you do want to see swatches of all of the shades as well as a demonstration of the two shades on my eyes right now then definitely keep on watching okay guys so let's just go ahead and jump straight into this video so first I'm going to prime my eyelids using the c12 concealer from the conceal and define range and then I'm just going to take my foundation brush and dab that in now taking a little bit of banana powder, I'm just gonna lightly set that. So before we go in with the flawless foils on the eyes, I'm gonna go in with a couple crease colors and I've picked out the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Amplified 35 palette and this is the Innovation palette. So it is all matte shades in here and I thought we could get a really nice like smoky eye going before we put the foils on the lid. So the shade that I'm first gonna start with is this brown tone in the middle and it's called Shift. And I'm just gonna pack this onto the outer V I'm going to pat first and then I will blend after. And then to blend it out, I'm going to take these two shades here, which is called Revolution and Variation. So I'm just going to take a dab of both of them and blend out the crease. So small little brush strokes should blend it. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this dark purpley shade over here and it's called Novelty and I'm also going to put this onto the outer V just to add some darkness. And then one more time in with these two brown shades up here to blend out the crease area. Okay, so once my eyes are as smoky as I like it, I'm going to take the Flawless Foils now, and this is the shade Rose Gold, but as you can see, it's kind of like a reddish maroon colour, and it comes with the Flawless Foil and also an intensifying primer. So this is what the intensifying primer looks like. It comes in a little dropper bottle. You unscrew the lid, and it has the dropper at the top. And then this is what the Flawless Foils looks like. It comes in a little pot, and it has the shade name on the back, and then you unscrew that, and this is what it looks like on the inside so I'm gonna do a swatch of it by itself with no primer and that is what it looks like so very intense very pigmented you don't have to use the primer but it does intensify it even more and now what I'm gonna do is take one drop literally one drop into the pan and then also take a swatch of it once it has the primer put into it and let's do a swatch of that here. So it just makes it more creamy um, and easy to use. I don't think it makes it more pigmented. I mean, it's pigmented dry or wet, but I feel like it makes it a lot more creamier and easier to kind of cut the crease or move around however you wanna put it. But yeah, very pigmented as you can see. So I'm gonna take this brush from the Makeup Revolution palette. It comes in one of the like iconic pro palettes, I believe. It has a flat side and a fluffy side. I'm gonna take the flat side, take some of the flawless foils onto my brush. And as you can see, it does move about. It's a very kind of creamy formula, but it picks up gorgeously on the brush, especially once you've put the primer in there. So I'm just gonna begin putting, I'm gonna put it right onto the, I love the color and I love how easy this is to use. I need to get close up to see what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna do a cut crease with it. And because it's so creamy, it's very easy to achieve a cut crease. And that is how it looks. So very, very intense, very gorgeous. You can build it up as well. You can put layers on top of layers and it does dry. So make sure you kind of play with it while it's wet. And then once it's dry, leave it alone. So what I'm quickly gonna do while it's still wet is take a dab of that first transition shade I used and just blend it right on the edge. And then a dab of the dark purpley shade and also blend the two colors together so now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eye 
okay guys so that is the shade rose gold applied and i hope you can see it's definitely more of like a reddish maroon color but i love it either way so i'm gonna go off camera complete the rest of my face and then i'll come back so we can swatch the remaining six shades and i think i might also you know pick one to put on my inner corner as a highlighter so i'll be right back Okay guys, so here we are with the final look. I hope you like it because I am obsessed. It is so easy to achieve as well. And yeah, I just love how it looks. So on my lips, I went in with the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Lip Liner in the shade Prime. And then I went in with the Renaissance Lipstick in the shade Prime as well. Uh, the lip liner is £2.50 and the lipstick is £4. So that is what I have on my lips right now. So now let's go ahead and swatch the rest of the Flawless Foils. And there is six left to show you. So I hope you enjoy these swatches and I'll be right back. Okay guys and we're back so I hope you enjoyed those swatches so I've chosen a shade to use on my inner corner and I'm gonna go in with the shade rebound which is that kind of goldish champagne color so I'm gonna be taking it on the same flat brush that I used for the other shade and I'm just gonna pat it onto my inner corner Wow this shade is perfect for the inner corner highlight Wow <laughs> with a second layer it just gets even more intense Okay, so that is the shade Rebound on my inner corner. It's very blinding, very reflective, very out there. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Definitely let me know in the comment section which shade you're planning on picking up. I can't pick my favorite. I mean, they're all gorgeous. But if I had to pick a top three, I would definitely pick the Rose Gold on my eyes, Rebound on my inner corner. And then last but not least, I would pick the kind of yellowy gold. And this is called Conflict. They are definitely my top three shades. So definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i'll catch you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye